So let's get rid of the traditional hello world. Boom. Let's do something more useful here. Okay. Verifying if a string is a digit. Here's what I know. I know at first you're going to want to import uh, system dot link. Okay. System dot link tends to make life a lot easier. It, I'm gonna put a string in here. Must be uh, missing my morning coffee here. This is our test value. And we're gonna assign it a string of numbers, just random numbers. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna create a bool value that tell us that it's all digits. I believe this is by far the easiest way. Ah. We're on test value. Let's control tab to get that to show up. And then uh, should show up for me, there he is, his digit. So I'll put a breakpoint at the end of all of this. Okay. So I included system.link, which give me these extensions. And this char is digit. If you do some research on that, you'll know that that checks each character as a digit. We're applying it to all the characters in the string. And so we're going to run it. Stop where I want it to stop. Oof, please just take your time. And it shows that the digits is true. That's. And so now we're going to just put a letter in here. Then we'll see what results it gives us the second time around. Do, 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 do. <laughs> running hits the spot and it says false so I hope that helps so that's one version of doing it these type of uh, checks come in handy when you want to verify that a string value is numeric um, middle of testing something right now but see eventually I'm inside this controller event controller and I'm gonna get a package ID and in this function I want to make sure that this is an integer so this is just kind of like the real life programming world so that's just an example of where it can come in handy hey if you found this video very helpful click the like button below and please don't be shy to subscribe to nerd house geeks we are constantly updating this channel with new and interesting content. If it's more convenient for you to see us on Facebook, please like our page. And when we have updates, we put them on Facebook and you'll be informed there as well too. And to the entire LinkedIn community, thank you very much for your support. We also have a company page up there that you can follow and we'll keep content updated there as well. So thank you very much.